Under the Federal uh, Disabilities Act, every state has to have what they call a self-advocacy group for adults who live with developmental disabilities. SUFU is Maine's group. About a year and a half ago, we created a pilot project with the Maine Coast Heritage Trust, where we've identified four land trusts throughout Maine, Blue Hill, Loon Echo, Brunswick Thompson Land Trust, and the Bangor Land Trust to be part of our pilot project with us. What this means is that SUFU is working with these land trusts to try and get them meaningful volunteer opportunities for, pe for adults who live with developmental disabilities. We have not gone into the land trusts and said, okay, here are the things that we want our volunteers to do. We've allowed and given the opportunity for the land trust to express what volunteer opportunities they've had, and we've tried to find the right SUFU member to help with that. We are actually at a land trust. We are at the Georges River Land Trust, and they've been a wonderful host to us and allowed us to come in and participate. And hopefully today you'll have a chance to walk around some of the trails and see some of the beautiful art. Land Trusts have been around for more than 100 years, and I don't think there's ever been a uh, collaboration like this in those 100 years with a Land Trust and, a, and the disability community. And so I think the people that are gathered here today this could be the start of something really special. There's uh, a lot of momentum here, there's a lot of interest, and there's a lot of results that's happening. Well, the collaboration between the Land Trust and Speak Up for us is all about community integration. It's such an uh, important partnership, really being integration in the way that the SUFU members can work with the Land Trust, make a significant difference. It also challenges all of us as to what inclusion really means. It's making a difference. So we've had a system of community integration and programs, but this new partnership has opened up new opportunities. And what we hope is that this opportunity goes nationwide. And Blue Hill Heritage Trust is undergoing a campaign right now to protect more of this land. So we thought this was the perfect place to come with SUFU and do a joint event to help the community learn more about the campaign and what our goals are. And at the same time, be of service for another organization and group of people in our community, which is the Food Pantry. So we're having a big blueberry picking event. This is a huge blueberry field. And we're encouraging everybody to donate some of their berries to the Food Pantry. I've had almost no experience with, with folks um, with developmental issues. Um, I don't think anybody else on the staff had really either. Um, so it was a, yeah, it was a learning experience for us. Just like just like everybody else, they have different interests, you know, depending on their you know their their individuality. And and just like any other volunteer, you try to match interests with what you have that needs to get done. Okay, I don't know. There are over 22,000 people in Maine living with intellectual or developmental disabilities. We've also been able to obtain funding to do what we call a disability awareness training with the Cromwell Center for Disability Awareness where we're going into the land trusts and doing a training about how to communicate with people who live with disabilities and what to expect and how we can begin working together on a common mission of you know, being stewards for our land. Most people with disabilities do not see themselves as their disability. You, you're angry, right. aren't you? And, I, and um, one of the reasons why um, handicapped went out of favor is uh, it comes from uh, cap in hand. So it, uh, it comes from um, a, a, um, an, image, an image of, uh, of somebody bagging on their uh, the benefits are all individual. We have one of our members who's doing a community garden by himself at one of the land trusts. Um, we have some of our volunteers are now being called by community members themselves to help them get to various projects at the land trust. Chris is another volunteer I was talking to. He's actually doing a citizen science project with a Blue Hill Land Trust. He's uh, doing phenology studies, measuring the uh, the certain plants along the trails at the Land Trust. Uh, the Land Trust project has been about building community inclusion. Community inclusion is getting everybody into their community and working with one another. And right now we're doing it with a Land Trust. When I work with the volunteers for the Blue Hill Land Trust, I feel respected. But it's been fun.
the whole thing's been fun. The membership that is participating in this project feel respected. We all want to be respected for what we can do and how we can help our communities. We want them to build relationships so that they have real relationships in the community. Um, and, that, and then the other goal is for the, for the regular volunteers, the regular folks in the community to have a better understanding of what it's like for a person with a disability. Land trusts are here for everyone and that includes um, people in SUFU and, and I think the people in SUFU benefit, the land trust benefits, and the community benefits in the end. And this is a reminder of how we can't put any false barriers around us. We have to think full inclusion, we have to think full possibilities, full work, full partnership. We're, we're even having a team from the University of Maine that's evaluating this project to um, measure the impact on the people who are volunteering, both people from SUFU and from the land trust and people in the community. So at the end of this pilot, we're gonna have some good information on the actual impacts of this kind of a collaboration. And we hope that this pilot could be used by land trusts in other states across the nation to make healthier communities. Our goal is that we would want any nonprofit in the United States to be able to access our materials and create a volunteer program for adults who live with developmental disabilities. There is no limitations. We have to think outside of the box that we usually have had and think globally and think a lot broader. It's fun. It is really a hoot. And our members are having fun. The land trust folks involved with it are having fun. And it's really a good way to enjoy the outdoors, to be part of a, a national movement right now and it's probably one of the most exciting things I have ever done professionally.